Well, for more on what to expect later on Friday, let's cross live now to Rome, where our correspondent Seema Gupta is standing by. Seema, tell us why lawmakers have failed to agree on a new president, despite four previous attempts. Yes, it does seem quite intense in the last few days, because even though the threshold in terms of coming up with a victory of uh, these more than a thousand parliamentarians and regional representatives choosing a president has dropped from a two-third majority that was required earlier in the week to Thursday, a simple majority. But yet they cannot come up with that compromise candidate. And that's simply because the parliament really is just too fragmented. At the moment, the centre-right bloc of parties do have a, a slight uh, increase in terms of their number of voters, but no one has that key figure of 505 that's required right now, that simple majority, in order to push through uh, their uh, candidates. So they need to come up with a compromise. Now, the political parties have been doing behind the scenes negotiations to see whether they can come up with a common name that will take over the current president, Sergio Mattarella, whose uh, term ends on the 3rd of February. And there have been various proposals, but they've been rejected by the other side. And in fact, in this last round that took place on Thursday, you had 166 votes for Mattarella himself, an 80-year-old president who has said very clearly that he does not want the job anymore. So we'll have to see what happens on Friday, whether they're going to put forward a candidate, whether that's going to be agreeable to the centre-left. Uh, we'll have to see what happened. But still, uh, once again, today, it will only require that simple majority of 505. But at the moment, it seems to be elusive in terms of coming with that consensus. Seema, viewers will be familiar with Mario Draghi, but take us through some of the other main candidates and tell us, do you think the outgoing president will be re-elected? Well, uh, whether or not he'll be re-elected, re we'll have to see whether he will even take the job. As I mentioned, he is reluctant to do so. But some of the other names that are being mentioned, perhaps we need a female president this time round. Elisabetta Casellati, she's the Speaker of the Senate. Another female candidate, Elisabetta Belloni, she's the head of Italy's Secret Services. Or even Marta Cartabia, the current Justice Minister. Other names being suggested, Giuliano Amato, former Prime Minister, as well as Sabino Cassese. He's an 86-year-old constitutional judge. Again, age perhaps an issue in his case, but we'll have to see which candidate comes forth today and how exactly all these different political parties will decide to vote. Our correspondent Simicopta reporting there from Rome ahead of that expected fifth vote in Parliament.